Good morning. I'm Mike Foster, and uh, glad to be here. I would like to talk about trauma-informed care this morning. The Sunset Commission suggested in the Stephen Group report stated that trauma-informed care initiatives should be halted. That would be a huge mistake. Trauma-informed care holds our best hope for real change in a broken system. Do not delay its implementation. We know that children suffering from trauma who are not healed will likely have a loss of productivity over their lifespans, and the public systems such as health care, child welfare, social services, law enforcement, criminal justice, and education will carry the long-term burden of these costs. The greatest tragedy is that these children will parent as they were parented and create another generation of abused and traumatized children for the state to raise, and we have not been good parents. Trauma-informed care is the critical strategy to improve safety, well-being, and permanency outcomes for our kids and families. It is the most effective treatment modality and the most efficient service delivery system. Its efficacy is being proven all around the country and in Texas. The return on the investment will be pro profound and the outcomes are sustainable. Trauma-informed care connects children to safe, healthy relationships that will last a lifetime. All across the country, deeper end service systems like substance abuse, mental health, juvenile justice, and child welfare have gradually moved to embrace trauma-informed services. We have passed a number of bills over the last two legislative sessions recognizing the importance of trauma-informed care to improve services to children and families. This is not the time to retreat from this modest beginning. We have to shift the culture to shift the system. Scientists and researchers in the last several decades have made great strides in understanding the impact on trauma on the developing brain. We know that early experiences, whether adverse or positive, have a profound impact on lifelong well-being. We recognize that traditional service approaches label and pathologize kids and are focused on what's wrong with them. There's a new term that has been coined called system-induced trauma to describe the damage done by the lack of stability, competency, and disrupted relationships inherent in our current models of care. We have disempowered and devalued youth and families. Trauma-informed care, care asks not what's wrong with you, but what's happened to you. It's a holistic-centered response trying to improve the all-around well-being, recovery, and healing rather than just providing treatment. We now know that healing will only happen in a safe, stable, and healthy relationship. DFPS and its services will be best served by changing from the ground up. Redesign is just shuffling contracting mechanisms, and positive outcomes are far in the future if we're going to rely on that. Highly traumatized kids need highly trained caregivers. Mr. Foster, your time's up, but we have your written testimony. We appreciate your being here today. Yes, thank you. Testify.